It's finally here. Let's put it in. Super important. Make sure that ground strap is still wrapped around and is being pinched right here. So that way we know the ECU is grounded. And the third bolt right here. I'm gonna go quickly grab my eight mil and just tighten these down. Remember, they're just ribbon clips. They are nothing like any torque spec. Just tighten them down nice and tight. When you go to put these clips on, make sure the gray one goes on to gray. Sink it in as deep as you can get it and that clip is all the way up and then make sure you put a little bit of pressure as you slide it down and it'll lock right in. Same for this side. We'll line up the brown connector right down and locks in. Make sure it locks in. We're all good to go and put the ground on. Loading this one up too. Let's see if this does it. All right guys, so you've seen that we did a rough little start there for a second. It was really short because we still have to adapt the security key. Now, the biggest thing is you need to go to a Dodge dealer if they'll give it to you or another place and you have to acquire your VIN key. So that way you can adapt this through the alpha software. We're gonna show you a little bit how to use the alpha software, but the hardest part you're gonna find is getting that key. Once you have your key, it's really not too bad to adapt the ECU. Either way, like I said, you can go see your local Dodge dealer, they might give it to you, or you can go and of course check with another shop that might be able to help you out. So what we've done so far is we've gone to the vehicle, we put in the alpha dongle in a, to the OBD2 reader. After we've done that, put the Jeep to on, but not started, obviously. And then from there, we would come over here put in the Jeep's information right here. And then from there, press connect. As you can see, it'll connect and it'll say status connected or down there. Perfect. And then of course you would go through here, transfer secret key from- To PCM. Uh, yep, to the PCM. And then now I'm not going to show you this, but this is where you would put that key that you received. So this time we're going to connect to the engine module. You're going to click on there. You're going to hit connect again. See, it's just going, and again, just make sure you select the right one. <laughs> we're connected. Click all the way down to the bottom. You want to click on VIN right and then put in your VIN. Again, I'm not going to give you my VIN, but put it in and then press start. Put your key in. We're going to cycle it, make sure all the lights go out. I mean, I'm definitely going to have an engine light because of sensors, but let's start it. Yep, it starts. So one thing so far that we've discovered is that our ABS module is not wanting to communicate with the ECU. Now I'll reach out to the Jeep Speed Shop guys and see what they have done or if they're just running without ABS. If that's what it is, that's what it is. Um, there are some people that have done other engine swaps and that does happen. A big thanks to Chris behind me. Chris went above and beyond and helped me over at Dodge. Um, O'Connor's Dodges, I should say, down in Chilliwax. If you need any parts for your project, definitely go and see him. He literally was able to help me source stuff. And I know I was a pain in his butt sometimes with a whole bunch of emails. So definitely, um, it's worth it. Either ways, if you need anything, go see him. Again, O'Connor's Dodge in Chilliwack. Four ECUs later, and we found the right one. So what's gonna happen from this point? You're like, you got it started. What's the next box to check? Well, we gotta build an exhaust because right now it's literally knocking things off the wall. It's nice and loud. You don't really hear it on the video probably, but it's loud. 
you feel it, feel it in your soul. Anyways, so what's gonna end up happening? It goes off to the exhaust shop. My buddy Daniel is going to be welding up something really, really special for you guys. Maybe I will show you. I'm gonna show you in one second. I got some of the pieces. We are building a custom exhaust for this, but no cats. We are gonna have a resonator and a muffler though. I'll show you those in a second. Daniel is going to have it for a little while. You're not going to have a video next week. It's just the way it goes. I told him to take his time. I don't want him to feel rushed. I want him to be able to, okay, get this piece, this piece. I want to keep it nice and tucked up, but we don't, of course, want any exhaust rattle. I think that's fair, right? Anyways, thanks again for following me along on this journey up until this point. I'm going to end this video by showing you a couple of the parts that are going in. Other than that, Thanks again for watching. Press like if it helped you out. And of course, subscribe for more. Well, there's your quick shot. As you can see, we have a Borla resonator up here and we have a Borla exhaust down here. It's gonna sound and look sweet. We also have a white pipe right here and a couple stainless steel hangers because we want to keep it all stainless. A little bit more money, but way better than having it rust out and fall off on the trail.